Hey, this is Ministry Briefing. I'm Matt Steen. Hey, I'm Todd Rhodes. Hey, Matt, today we've got a, a kind of an innovative type thing coming from John Piper. Uh, John, you know, stepped down as a senior pastor earlier this year at, uh, at Bethlehem Baptist there in Minneapolis, but he has a brand new iPhone app. It's really? called, yes, it's called Ask Pastor John. And uh, he's doing five different episodes every weekday, or five, they're five minutes long, once a day, every weekday. So about five a day, or five, oh boy, I am really confused. Pastor John, can you help me with my confusion? We know you're watching. Uh, <laughs> uh, but it's, it's an app where people can ask questions to John Piper, and he will, he will take uh, your questions and give an answer to them. Uh, I don't know. What do you think about this, Matt? Is this good use of John's time? I guess we know what he's doing uh, now that he's kind of semi-retired, huh? Yeah. I, I, here's, here's what I'm wondering. Uh-oh. Five minutes once a day? Uh-huh. This sounds strangely familiar. I think, he's, I think he stole our idea. I think so, too. I think we need to fire up the crack ministry briefing legal team and track <laughs> down John Piper. Send off a cease and desist. I, I think we might have to. Hey, here's a question for you. Hey, Pastor John, why do you steal other people's ideas? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no. You know what? I think uh, I think this is probably uh, – this is great. I mean, uh, uh, if you're a John Piper fan, um, people will find this interesting. But, you know, I think it's a good use of technology. And this is why I wanted to do this story, uh, Matt. I think it's a good use of technology. Uh, I'm wondering what local pastors can learn from this. Um, I think there's a lot that, that, that pastors could do with, uh, with blogs, with podcasts, uh, with even Facebook and Twitter feeds that kind of make them a little bit more vulnerable. This is a very vulnerable type of a, uh, uh, of a platform um, to where you're, you're really listening to feedback, taking questions and answering questions. It's endearing to the audience. It helps people really uh, feel like, they know the person a little bit better. Yeah. Uh, so I think it's I think it's a great move. Actually, I'd like to see more pastors and more churches do this type of thing. And I think it's cool. Not that it's just that it's not just a website, but it's also an app that people can can view on their phone. I know we've seen uh, almost a third of the views um, here on Ministry Briefing are being taking place on uh, on mobile phones and tablets and uh, mobile devices. So I think it's a great move. That's off to Pastor John Piper. Yeah, me too. He didn't take our idea. And pa Pastor John, check your mail. <laughs> well, we'd love to hear, uh, have you done anything like this? Uh, kind of innovative with an app? Uh, you know, a lot of the church apps that I see out there are just kind of cookie cutter things. Are you doing anything that's kind of out of the ordinary that we should look at? Maybe maybe do a ministry briefing on That'd be awesome. Uh, leave a comment down in the comment section. Also check out our new ministry briefing just released. Uh, for this month, and you can find that at ministrybriefing.tv slash YouTube.